Assalamu alaikum. And my name is Mohammed Riyaz. And I born in Kotli Azad Kashmir. Uh, I born in uh, 1949 in uh, Dala Mandi, Kotli, which is very close to the city of Kotli. So the Patwar, we call it Mandi, Mandi Sharif. So I, I born in Kotli. <clears throat> Can you describe your childhood and the area you grew up in? Yes. Uh, when I was four, uh, I have started going into the school in Kotli. So soon after a year, uh, we, we have a new school in Mandi. So therefore, I have transferred myself to Mandi school. So there I have been educated uh, up to class five. So that's my prim primary education. And then I went into the government pilot high school, Kotli. Can you tell me about your parents and how much brothers and sisters you have? My father's name was Aji Pakhan. And my mother's name was Zainab Bibi. And uh, I have uh, three brothers and a sister. So my childhood, uh, I spent all my childhood in Kotli. My dad was a small farmer. We have a small land in Kotli. My mom and dad worked very hard. My mother and father did work very hard. Could you tell me about your school life and your classmates? I have a few friends, a few classmates. Uh, who become very famous in, in Azad Kashmir. The primary school uh, I used to go, we, we built that school with our hands. Uh, we brought these stones from the river Punch because uh, this school was on the bank of the river, uh, river Punch in, in Mandi. So therefore, uh, we have a great memory for us that we did build school under the leadership of uh, uh, Master uh, Ghulam Rasul Saab. Uh, very, very uh, uh, respected uh, school teacher in the area at that time. When we used to go to school, we sit at the front benches, we used to do these uh, silly things in school, and um, uh, with the other friends, like Malik Zarayat, Javed Bhatt, Zafarul, we, we, we are very glorious lad in, in, you know, so we have a good group. So, uh, sometime when we were in class six, I remember, there, uh, the class six was near the police station in Kotli, old police station. So it was a, a room very far from the big building, the original building. So therefore, we used to sometimes we, uh, half time, uh, we go home and uh, you never come back to the school. So these are the things that we used to do when we were younger. Uh, so uh, I had quite few few friends still, uh, um, friends. It was a it's a completely different life in the beginning, but now because uh, the system has been changing, the things are modernized now. Therefore, uh, it's a completely different now. I went into Kotli um, many times now. It's, it's a completely different scenario in Kotli. Can you tell me um, how you used to celebrate Eid and other cultural festivals? On, on the Eid, uh, we used to wear the new clothes and uh, we get a small amount of money from the elders. So we go to the t town centre buy some sweets and things, you know, uh, 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 things like uh, sweets and other things. They, normally, we don't have uh, much money in a sense to go to the places like that. But if this was a special day uh, and then we, we go to the town and you know, enjoy ourselves and come back with a few things, a few gifts from for, for our brothers and sisters. So that's why we enjoy. We do have the uh, the Saki Tewar in, in Kotli, which has been uh, in Kureta. So therefore, it's been uh, uh, become a Mela Mauritian now. So, uh, very popular uh, event we have on the, in the India for the May. Can you tell us how you came to the UK? Uh, I came into UK in 1967 and uh, I came in because uh, the economic position to make the uh, economic position of my home and household and my family better. So therefore I came into UK in 1967. What were your first impressions when you came to the UK? Uh, I came into UK uh, and I see it's uh, very cold because uh, I came in September. So therefore, I, I felt that <clears throat> it's a very cold country. I, I came to Watford and then I have uh, came to Luton for a job. So therefore, I have started working in a foundry, which was in Ligre and uh, in Luton. 
and uh, I started the infantry as a laborer. The first job was uh, that I've been given uh, is to to support the people who used to work in the foundry. So I went. Uh, uh, they gave me the wheelbarrow and asked me to some fetch some sand from outside. So I went out and I was coming back and I just fell, fell and uh, you know I was uh, I fell and therefore the foreman came to me and he said, "Are you okay?" So I was very impressed, you know, that that very very quickly action has been taken. And then they asked me, you know, we'll give you some easy jobs. So therefore, that's my very first day when uh, I started working. And, uh, you know, they the, gave the, the easier job. And there are so many people who are working in there in the foundry. And then I came back to Bhutan in 1962, uh, and then I settled there. So therefore, uh, I got a job in Vauxhall. And I, I worked in Vauxhall for almost uh, 10 years. And uh, soon after, uh, I left the box hall and uh, I have started working in, in the, in the, on the buses as a bus driver. So I worked about 20 years uh, in the local bus company uh, as a bus driver. And I used to drive coaches and buses and so on. So therefore, I become very popular lad, you see. It's because working in the community and then keeping very close relation with the community. So therefore, um, uh, you know, uh, I move along. So I have five children. Uh, all uh, highly educated, working, and it's a great honor for me. And uh, we did arrange the opportunity for my children because I was no, I was not very educated man. So I wanted my children to have good education because in this country we have the opportunity. 2003, I did contest the election on the platform of the Labour Party. So I became a councillor. I've been asked uh, by my party to become the deputy. Uh, mayor of the, the town. So I felt that this was really and truly honor for me to become the deputy mayor of the town. So uh, I uh, accepted the, the, the offer and then I became a deputy mayor. So therefore in 2009 and 2010, uh, there was a chance for me to become the mayor of the town. So I put my name forward and then my party unanimously said yes. I become the mayor unanimously. Soon after my mayorship finished, I went into Buckingham Palace to see the Queen and uh, I was not able to talk to the to the Her Majesty, but I was very honored that uh, I've been called into the Buckingham Palace with my wife, and we had a cup of tea uh, with the other dignitaries. So it's, 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 it was a great honor for me to, to go to the Buckingham Palace. What message would you like to give to the community? My message is for the community is I'm asking the parents to to uh, give their children good education. Uh, you have the opportunity in this country, and I want the community to move forward, to give uh, the, the uh, younger people good education, uh, and then uh, when the younger people will get the education, obviously they will become good citizens of this country. This is our country, and I want you, I want the community to flourish. And uh, if the younger people will involve themselves in the negative activities, not only uh, this gives a bad name to this alarm, uh, is bring the uh, negative images of Islam in this country. So my my uh, plea to, to towards the younger people to to uh, uh, become a good citizen of this country. This is our town now. This is our home now. And uh, I, I'm probably saying that uh, I'm a Muslim, very proud. But I am also very proud that I'm a British, and we are moving along. And uh, this country given us so much. It's a time for us to give a little back to the communities. So if we will be able to do that, I'm sure that we'll be able to move along. Thank you very much for being part of this interview. Thank you.